Um, there's been a lot of talk this week about Christian Horner versus Lewis Hamilton. Oh, uh, now, Christian Horner, it. for anyone that doesn't know, um, he came out earlier this week and said that Lewis had approached Red Bull um, about that potential second seat. And Lewis completely rubbished those claims. Um, now, Christian Horner has come back with a counter offer <laughs> um, and said that it was actually Lewis's dad that had the conversation with him about the second seat. Um, it's kind of gone on through the whole of the weekend. Uh, Hamilton was even talking about it in the in the paddock. He said Christian likes to stir things yeah. and he's not ever spoken to Horner. He even checked with all of his team. Um, where do we stand on that? Who's telling the truth? Who's lying? What's going on? Uh, to be honest, I, I'm, I was shocked when I saw the report because this this would never happen. Like it's, it's in a fictional world that this takes place where these two actually end up in the same team. You know, first of all, Verstappen would never allow it. That's something that Lewis actually said. Yeah, he just <laughs> it wouldn't would never allow happen. it in the first place. Those two obviously don't get along. We've seen quite a few moments between them in 2021. So they wouldn't even work as teammates to start off with. And also the Red Bull and Mercedes are probably the biggest rivalry on the grid in terms of, you know, you just can't mm -hmm. see them ever making any sort of contact for anything in terms of drivers or, or staff or whatever. So, yeah, for me, when I saw that, who's lying, who's telling the truth? I think I think Christian Horner maybe was trying to play a game because obviously Perez has had a really poor season. Maybe put him under a bit of pressure for next season just to say, listen, we will, you know, exercise our options. We are the best team. But would you grid. be stirring the pot with Lewis? Who's He's gonna the biggest name on the grid. It's it's gonna get the most talk. I think even though it's the most unrealistic, it also does garner the most amount of attention. I think anybody else on the grid it's not going to stir up as much of a fuss. It's not going to be as unrealistic as well. So I think he can kind of play the game of saying, listen, I'm, I'm going to make make this story um, public or I'm going to put it out there. But at the same time, people who know F1 know that this is absolutely, there's just no chance of it happening. Yeah, I think there's also an element of no smoke without fire and that probably maybe one little tiny passing comment may have been made that Lewis's dad said to somebody and maybe got, got passed through to Christian Horner of, uh, you know, oh, imagine if, you know, what Lewis would have done in this Red Bull this season. Mm. Something like that, that then just gets it's escalated. Away comment. You can already see there's a whole Drive to Survive episode just going to be about yeah. this this moment. But if we, if we allow ourselves for a second to imagine it did happen, I mean, come on, imagine those two in the oh Red Bull. It would be God. unbelievable. The in-team fighting yeah. would be yeah. ridiculous. Would be mad. But also in, in turn as well, maybe... This might be Lewis's dad putting a bit of pressure on Mercedes. Obviously, Lewis only just signed a new contract. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and Mercedes performed pretty poorly as well this season. So it could work both ways. Both teams have elements about them where some sort of pressure is maybe needed to be applied for next season. Yeah. Whether it's Perez or it's performance. So Let me ask you both. Let's say that they were, you know, just for hypothetical state, they mm -hmm. were in the same team. Mm. Who do you think would be the better driver of that car? Well, I, I think Max has an advantage massive advantage because he's driven the car before Christian Horner absolutely loves him and I think they'll tailor the car slightly towards him what's their driving styles that match up what would that be like do you think well the question would be would they would they be both driving individually yeah and going trying to win the drivers or would they be driving together and trying to win the constructors no, they'd be in, trying to win the drivers they would be that. but if they were yeah. going to do the constructors nobody else would have a hope they are by far and away the two best drivers on the grid mm. um and and no one else would have hope but if they're going against each other after this season, I'm inclined to say I think Max would outscore Lewis. Do you think? I do. I would have loved it's to Max have seen car. it. I know, but like I would have loved to have seen. I know we kind of saw it still like a little bit in 2021, but like I would have loved to have seen Mercedes at their like at their peak with the car yeah. and Max where he is now in the Red Bull battling. And who knows? We might see it next season. Mm. But I would love to see the pair of them going head to head each week because we we even saw for, for like a very short period of time like if someone is leading the race and Max isn't. You know, we saw it with, with last week with um, Charles Leclerc. Like, yeah. you know, he, he might have slightly pushed him off track. And like, I want to see more, Max more than, more than slightly, just put uh, now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that open to interpretation. <laughs> I want to see that battle at the front of the grid. That's, I feel like, what we've missed all season. I really okay, do. So, okay, so who wins? Lewis 2019 or Max 2023? Oh, that's a great question. Wow. I'm backing my boy, Lewis, because uh, I, I still believe he's the, the greatest driver on that grid. 
when, when push comes to shove, I think he's I a think, better driver than Max. I think it's Max. The irony of you I wearing know. that and saying Lewis <laughs> and me wearing I'm Ferrari right. and saying Max. I don't want to wear this. <laughs> I think Max. I honestly, I think Max. <laughs> I, I just can't. I'm still processing what we've actually seen this season yeah. and the, the unbelievable levels of dominance and all the records that he's broken which Lewis absolutely did as well and has done more times, you know, seven, nearly eight world time, uh, world champion. Uh, I think under pressure in that will to will combat, which we're talking about, which Max hasn't really had this season. Mm. I think Lewis is better. Mm. I think that's what we need to see more of we in Max's seen drive. Of Max. And that's not, we can't be critical of it because no, they had his fault. Yeah, it's not his fault. They haven't, the had the pre- <laughs> yeah, they haven't had the pressure as well this season for him to do that. And that's what I would like to see next season. Not that I don't want Red Bull to be dominant, I do, but I really want to see those interesting battles at the front of the grid. Um, and, you know, it's. I feel like everyone has to up their game. I mean, I say it's been a bit of a season to forget aside from Red Bull because everyone else has just been a very poor or average or the car just hasn't been up to up to standard and i just don't think that we can have another season where a team is that far in front